Ow! Come on, we got to celebrate on the 12th. Some of you had this full moon last night. If you were in anything but the eastern time zone of the United States, you didn't get 12 12 on 12 12 or at 12 12. But uh, if you're in the east, you did. So the full moon, yes, was either this morning at 12 12 a.m. in the east coast or it was last night, back it up from there. But it is still walking through Gemini most of today. So I was uh, checking out some things on Twitter and and uh, some other blogs and everything, and I'm seeing that people were feeling a little bit fuzzy yesterday. Now, me personally, I had a pretty busy day. We've got a new radio show starting here in Dallas, so I was doing some recording for that. And my day was just pretty typically uh, audiobook in the morning and then uh, radio in the afternoon. So... I didn't feel that scatteredness, I guess, because my day had symmetry. I mean, that was my situation. But I did see that a lot of people were feeling scattered. Gemini moon and a little disoriented. Moon square Neptune. Didn't get to talk about that yesterday. but uh, And it's gone now, so we don't really need to even backtrack it. But yes, there was a little bit of fogginess around yesterday. And the moon moves into Cancer at 6.22 p.m. tonight, Eastern Time. And I've got my eye on this one and my intuitive hunch, or just intuitive gut feeling. Because when I was looking through this, preparing for recording here, realizing that tomorrow the moon in Cancer is going to be at an exact conjunction with the North Node about this mid-morning time tomorrow. So I'm not sure. I don't know what that's going to do. But we'll just keep an eye out, and you keep an eye out in your own life. Time on that's going to be about 9.25 tomorrow morning. Of course, the south-north axis is south node Capricorn, north node Cancer right now. So when the moon moves in, it only has those 8 degrees to catch the uh, north node. What are some things it could be? Well, with Saturn-Pluto over there on the other side of the chart, it could certainly be anything around your north node purpose, you know, like triggering, moving things in that direction, just good old core Saturn-Pluto transformation stuff too, it could be. Just continuing to hear and see people that are experiencing transformational challenges in their lives. So what could it be? Well, anything along your north node path area that you might be resisting, certainly the moon could trigger that. Now, I mentioned this Neptune and this a little bit of fogginess. Uh, Yesterday, the moon was also square as it moved on toward Cancer, uh, Chiron. And then in a few days, it will square Uranus, but not until the moon gets up into Leo. So that's going to be early next week. But those are going to be a couple of opportunities for, uh, again, moon triggers. So another one is, of course, today up until about early afternoon New York time. So late morning in the West Coast, early afternoon in the East Coast, the moon is still going to be opposite by degree the sun. So the sun is at 20 degrees Sagittarius. The moon by, let's say, 9 o'clock Eastern Time is going to be at 22 degrees Gemini. And by the time it gets to 27, which puts it out of that opposition range clearly, will be about, again, 1.30 Eastern Time. So if you wanted to catch, and you weren't up at 12, 12 a.m. or the respective time last night, and you still wanted to catch the beams of this, of this cold full moon in December, the last full moon of the year, you have time. Bottom line, you have time. Do it before 1.30 this afternoon Eastern Time if you can't. Do what? Do your little full moon ceremony. So that would be releasing. And like we talked about yesterday, it would be anything that you want to button up from this year, especially the last six months. So a time of completion and, uh, for me, a time of obviously looking ahead to 2020. I'm using this full moon to set the stage for the coming eclipse on the 26th, to to set the stage for the uh, Saturn-Pluto on January 12th, 
kind of just thinking of it as, I guess, one of the dominoes in the series of energetic events between now and early January. If you didn't hear that podcast, that was Monday of this week. We went over the big overview of everything that's going to be taking place. So yeah, for me right now, it's just uh, buttoning up the full moon experience for this year, keeping an eye on the chart because I just love looking up there at that Capricorn stellium and realizing that this has not been in place for over 250 years. And I'm just marveling at it. I'm like, wow, look, it's really, really there. (laughs) I mean, it's one thing when you fast forward the chart and you look at it, and it's another one that's today. Like, that's now. We're living this energy. And then the other thing is just uh, getting ready for the Cancer Moon and seeing what happens around that North Node. So that's my day. And uh, Majan and I are hitting the road. But I will be back tomorrow, and we'll see you for TGI Friday. Bye.